Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to give you an update on the Victron Venus OS version and also the GUI beta. Um, as you remember there was a video a couple weeks back already or even month I think I believe and uh, I just want to see if there was any movement since recently there was not a lot of new firmwares coming out for Victron so I thought I wanted to do a follow up and see where we're at at the moment just to give myself also an idea where it is maybe you're also interested in this so which means we'll just connect to my raspberry pi 3 um, 3 because that is my production system which is connected to the victron smart chart but also to the victron mppt charger so we're not using my test device what i did last time um, the reason is because we did test it last time and I was able to revert back to the previous version and going back and forth and that works flawlessly without any issues even uh, with the setup helper installed works just great so I'm not too worried about doing it now on my production system so that means connecting via browser that's what I did here open the browser typed in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi 3 and we will now just you know you see it here i hope you can see it i zoomed in a little bit more since there was a request to make it a little bigger so here you can see i have a propane tank i have the raspberry pi processor temperature which should be installed through the setup helper i have the smart run and i also have the smart charger connected yes correct so we'll go into settings we'll go into firmware we will go here we see version 3.01 go into online updates we'll go and see yes we have the large version and i went already ahead and clicked on latest release candidate so that's something you have to do and change and then press to check and now we see there's a version 3.10 build 34 and i want to install it so double click on it now we'll let it install first download and then install and as soon as this is done i'll be back all right we almost at a hundred percent and then afterwards it will do most likely a reboot and then we have the latest and greatest i don't know about greatest but we have the latest build version on here which might be not stable so be aware of that um but so far it worked awesome and flawlessly with the rebooting back to the stable version so reboot happening let's see if it comes back up and there it is cool now we can see there's only the smart chain connected and also the charger um, the setup helper should now do its magic and install itself again. Yeah, it is on on. It's checking for downloads and installs. Perfect, so we'll wait for that. Oh, and it's happening. So it should be... I don't even know if that's a reboot or just a console GUI reboot. Yeah, nice. The it is back. Um, the only thing which is missing is the propane tank, which might be coming back in a minute. So let's see what we have here because last time um thanks again to one user who made me aware of we have to activate mqtt so since this is a different device we have to go to services again and act oh, activate mqtt on lan ssl on plain text and now it should just work out of the box so that means open a new tab ip address slash gui dash better ha huh. all right bummer that's a, oh, that's a bummer. Okay. 4.4 not found. We'll do a reboot and see maybe if it helps. Okay, let's see. It's back up online. Alright. So let me try again. Ah, bummer. Alright. 4.4 not found. Let me check one more thing. So now we are in the version 3.10.34. A couple days back I was checking on my test Raspberry Pi 4. I wanted to see okay which version I'm running and which is the latest possible. So so here we are on my Raspberry Pi 4 and when we go on firmware it does have the 3.10.32 which was a build from uh, 20, August 24th and with that version it actually did work. So they must have changed something between version 32 and 34. Um, I don't have to dig into that and I have no idea how to f figure that out anyways, but maybe you do know what it changed and how to make it work. Because I really wanted to see what it looks like when the battery and everything else is connected to it. The smart chunk, the MPPT charger, and uh, maybe other stuff. So I was really curious about that part. But looks like um, there's no way at the moment to do that and figure that out. If you know how, please leave a comment uh, down below 
and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow up with that stuff and see more of the spectrum stuff or even other renewable energy stuff battery stuff um, i'm doing a bunch of stuff at the moment with batteries so please feel free to subscribe to the channel sorry that we were not able to show you this progress they made so we'll be in the next video thanks for watching cheers